The Infotrain Eon Storage GS Family product is a unified storage system that integrates file level, block level, and cloud gateway into one single system. In this video, we will demonstrate two ways to provision a block level space. We will demonstrate by using the Eon1 workflow in the first part and then manually in the second. The Eon1 workflow provides users a flexible process for various operations. Here we will demonstrate how to set up a use space for block level with automated workflow. Please make sure at least one block level channel is connected. Click the workflow tab on the top of the Eon1 main page. Select Create Pool, Volume, and Lawn Map. We can see the screen on the right is divided into three parts. Click the Run button to start setup. Let's start with Create Pool. Enter the pool name. Then select Main Controller, Hard Drive, and RAID Level. Here we will demonstrate by setting up a RAID 6 pool on Controller A. In Create Volume, select the new pool we just created. Set value number and name, and specify the volume size. Finally, set up host lawn mapping. When selecting volume, you may select a single or all volumes. We will map the volume to channel 4 here with the customized host lawn mapping function. Take and designate the SCSI ID. Click Execute to run after setup is complete. After workflow is complete, open Computer Management page from the connected Eon Storage GS host side to confirm the volume has appeared in the disk list. The volume can now be used. Next, we will demonstrate how to manually set up a pool and block volume and map it to the host side. Again, please make sure at least one block level channel is connected. On the Eon1 overview page, click Settings in Device Information on the left to enter Device Menu and click Storage. First, switch to the Pool tab. Click Add Pool. For dual controller Eon Store GS models, a menu will appear to inquire whether the pool is to be created via Symmetric Active Active or Symmetric Active Active. In Symmetric Active Active mode, Two controllers will simultaneously access the same storage space. A symmetric active active mode will need to assign the storage space to each controller. Here we will demonstrate using a symmetric active active mode. Select in order hard drives, RAID level, and main controller. Here we will create a RAID 6 pool on controller A. Click OK and the newly created pool will appear on the list. Next switch to the volume page. Click Add Volume. Select pool to enter the volume name and size. Click OK and the newly created volume will appear on the list. A menu will appear when clicking the designated volume. Click Map to Host to see the current host mapping status. Click Create. Here we will map the volume to channel 0 with the customized host lawn mapping function. Tick channel 4 on controller A and choose SCSI ID. Click OK to complete setup. After provisioning is complete, open Computer Management page from the connected Eon Storage GS host site to confirm the volume has appeared in the disk list. The volume can now be used. 